So we are going to talk more about Google Plus tips this week. And when you scroll down uh, on your Google Plus home feed, you will see this nice graphic image that says create an event. And this is a new feature by Google Plus. And you can create a Google Plus page for um, promoting a virtual event or an offline event. And you can do this with um, product launches or preview calls or whatever event that you're holding. And this is really good for promoting your business. And so what we are going to do now is we'll start creating an event. We probably have tried uh, setting up events on Facebook or LinkedIn. And this is different because um, it allows you to upload a banner that corresponds with your event. So they already have some featured um, themes. And if you want to upload your own banner, which I highly suggest if you are doing this for a virtual event or any event that you are hosting, uh, click on change theme. So you are given uh, a few featured uh, themes and these really look nice. So click on upload and select a photo from your computer. So I am uploading um, a banner from a blog tour that I am a, um, a part of. And you want to make sure that your image or your banner is about 900 40 pixels wide by 280 pixels high. So now we have our banner and let's type the event title. And you can choose the event options here. Well, the basic options are the guests can invite other people and I want uh, this to, I want to leave this checked because I want people to invite other people. Um, guests can add photos and this will add more engagement to your event page. And when you click on advanced, so you have these options. You can have a Google Plus Hangout if the event is online only. And you can also choose to make this an event on air and anyone can view this event and you can also choose to show additional fields and this is very um, I highly recommend showing additional fields most especially if you want signups for your event and let's just scroll down so first we also have to choose a date so I'll just pick July 12 and just mm, let's go with like 11 a.m. Okay, so and the location is optional. So if you are doing an offline event, you can just um, enter the location here and add more details. So what I want to do is go to um, this is the page for the blog tour. So I am just going to copy some wordings here. Okay, and piece it here. And the website URL. You would want to enter the URL of the website for your event. And this one is also um, a nice option, the ticket seller URL. For example, if you are going to sell tickets for um, on your website or sites like Eventbrite, you can enter the URL of um, that site here. And this is for the YouTube URL. So this has a YouTube uh, video, so I'm just going to um copy this URL and paste this here and you don't really need to uh, enter the transit and parking information okay and 
you can invite names, circles, or email addresses. And it's okay to invite people who are not on Google Plus yet. You can also just enter, um, invite people by entering their emails. So you can choose to invite uh, people from your circles or the public or extended circles and choose some certain circles. Like for now, let's just go with this. This is just a sample and click on invite. We have a really nice uh, large banner right here and the title here and the time for uh, the event and as well as the video. And this is uh, the description I entered earlier and the link to um, the event page. If you love this video, then you will love my free weekly social media coaching. Just pop over to socialmediamarketinggirl.com. And this social media coaching is designed especially for women service-based professionals and some cool men too, of course. And keep in touch with me on Facebook and Twitter, and I'll see you next week.